What is poppin' Genshin Gang? It's your boy Mikey J in the mother place to be. Today we're gonna go over Ganyu um, and whether or not you should summon for her. So um, with these particular videos, we're going to basically just go over her kit, go over her numbers and all that kind of stuff provided by Genshin.HoneyHunterWorld.com. So uh, if you guys wanna go ahead over there, if you guys need anything on Genshin Impact, they've got it. So anyway, let's go ahead and check out Ganyu stats and whatnot. So she is ice bow user. Um, everybody should already know that. The thing that I'm really looking at is her attack damage. So nine times out of 10, depending on how many constellations you get, the median area that everybody's at is like at level six. So six or seven. And what these numbers represent is how much these attacks scale off the base attack. For her charge attack, where is that? Cause that's, that's the most important thing about Ganyu is her charge attack. Aim charge shot level one. So 124% of her base attack for her charge level one. Frost flake arrow damage is 128. That's actually not bad. So while we're looking in where the median would be for when you get Ganyu, most people would have her to level six, maybe seven and eight. 200% for her frost flake arrow. That's actually not bad. And her frost, Flake arrow bloom damage 300 percent 304.6 or so almost 305 percent for her uh her bloom and 179 for her frost flake arrow so i'm assuming her frost flake is the second level charge attack so that's actually not bad it's actually not bad so but the thing is i personally this is this is <laughs> this is a personal thing of mine i don't really like the style of a bow user except for you know tartalia because he is probably most the most unique unit in the game that's a bow user so um he's melee i personally before i get you know into the deep of everything i won't be pulling for her because i just don't need another ice bow user her damage is cool but i just don't see a use for her anywhere on on my team of of the units that I actually have. So, I mean, her damage is fine. Her damage is really, really good. I don't, I just don't see her play style being fun. That's just, that's just my take. But let's move on to her uh, elemental skill. Uh, leaving a Lotus, a single ice Lotus behind Ganyu dashes backwards, sh uh, shunning all impurity and dealing AOE and cryo damage. Around six, skill damage 184%. So that's really good. Cooldown is 10 seconds and it lasts six seconds on the field. So that's, that's pretty decent. Celestial Shower, this is her ult. This is the little big orb that she just drops on everybody. Um, Let's blow this up just a little bit. All right, that actually looks a lot better. Wow, okay. Colossus Atmospheric Frost and Snow to summon Sacred Cryo Pearl that exercises evil. During its ability duration, the Sacred Cryo Pearl will continuously rain down shards of ice, striking opponents with an AOE and dealing cryo damage. Ganyu can bring down sweet rains as a matter of course, but against demons and heretics, they become bitter freezing snow. Okay. At level 6, 98.38, cooldowns 20 seconds, energy costs 60. So it's not that expensive, but I don't see this being a, you know, a rapid cool cooldown type thing, similar to like how Albedo is. I don't see it being like that. I don't know. I just, I just don't see them making a bow character that appealing to me because it's like her play style is just so it's 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 slow. I I have a very rush down play style. In any game that I play, I always choose the fastest. If there's a you know like a thief or something like that, because they're usually fast and they they have like multiple quick strikes. I would play that type of character. This ranged character who needs you know charges to be any kind of effective it's not my play style constellation taking damage from a charge level two frost flake arrow or frost frost flake arrow or frost flake arrow bloom say that 10 times fast decreases opponent's cryo res by 15 percent it regenerates two energy for ganyu this effect can only occur once per charge level two frost flake arrow regardless of frost flake arrow itself or its bloom hit the target Oh, that's actually not bad. Uh, really not worth it for the first constellation. Like if you if you're going C six for her, man, you gotta go all in because that first one ain't that first one ain't it. <laughs> the second one though, Trail of Killing, Ki Kilin, I have no idea how to say that. 
<laughs> Trail of Killing gains one additional charge. That's not bad. Any character that can get an additional charge for extra DPS is always a good thing. Now, um, I would assume that once you put the other one down, it doesn't go away some of the time. How Albedo's does when you put down his, his bloom, the other one goes away. I would assume that you can have two at one time, which is pretty decent. The third one increases max level by three and Westward Sojourn. Upon extending within the AOE, Celestial Shower take increased damage. The, this infect strengthens over time. Decreased damage taken begins at 5%, increased by 5% every three seconds up to a maximum of 25%. The effect lingers for three seconds after the opponent leaves the AOE. That's not that bad. Like I say, if you're planning on building Ganyu and you want her to be the best that she can be, I you you gotta go at least constellation four at least constellation four like her setup really just seems like it is a four star character honestly like her 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 kit really seems like it's a four star kit and you have to have these constellations to make her that worth it as a five star character and i really don't mean to sound like uh, like on some jong jong lee shit i don't mean to sound like she needs a buff but i feel like the bow users in this game are fundamentally nerfed just or off the rip because of how they attack now if they manage to increase the attack speed or just just have a straight ripper i don't that that would be great as a as a bow user but you have to be precise and it, it just takes a lot of time like you're not mobbing down you're not mowing down mobs like that i don't know that's just my personal opinion on bow users i personally love tartalia because of the way that they made him have you know switch from range to melee um that's pretty much the only bow user that i'll use besides fischl because fischl's awesome uh but she's support so she leaves something on the field and still does damage i mean yeah you could probably use ganyu as, as support but she's a five star like you want these five stars to smack and the way i mean i th this is just coming off of you know what's on per paper and the paper ain't looking too good to me right now so all in all, I'm going to say I, I was going to skip anyway, but I'm not even going to summon. I was going to I was going to I was going into the video saying that I was probably just going to get her for shits and giggles, but I don't think I'm even going to waste my gems on on her. And that's just off the strength of her being a bow user. Like, I personally don't like bow users, but if you like bow users, I would say even still like you're going to have to go in for the long haul for her uh, constellations at least constellation four because she doesn't get interesting until constellation four in my opinion i mean that's on you guys if you guys have a different opinion please put it down in the comment section but i feel like she's i don't know i'm gonna wait for the whales to go ahead and grab her and see what they can do because i have i think i have two multi set aside for guarantee for fur pity but i don't know i think i might just save it if if she doesn't you know perform like i want her to or anything like that so i'm gonna wait for the whales i would say don't summon right off the bat wait for the whales to get their hands on it see what she can actually do how good she is because i was fooled before because just on paper albedo was not all that good but i actually pulled him and um he's a great unit that's all my time guys thank you guys so much for watching if you're not have not already Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and uh, comment, like, subscribe, you know, the normal. I'll see you guys in the next Genshin Impact video. Peace.